Hey everybody, so I'm at this restaurant with Erica. Say hi Erica. And we were just actually go, we went over to the new store and we were talking about what I talked about in the other video about how all the construction of Manhattan's rinky dink unless you have a million dollars. Funny thing, I was, we went to sit down, there's, there's this one swinging chair over here you can see. It's kind of cool. And I noticed there's a draft. So I noticed there's a door over here and I go to close it. See, this is a door. It opens and then it close. Oh. And then I go to close it. You open it. Yeah, it doesn't close. You have to try and, and, and push it with the force of somebody who can bench three plates for sets of 15 <laughs> to get the thing to fully close. And this is a... Yeah, it's a swing set. And this is a newly opened, newly opened restaurant over here. This is actually a place called Wolf Nights. I really enjoy the wraps here. Uh, I've been go they're the only place that's usually open around one in the morning when I used to get off work really late on uh, Rivington and Ludlow. It's a nice place. That's it for tonight. And as always, I hope you learned something. Erica, say goodnight. Hey everybody, how's it going? So earlier I did this video about this restaurant Wolf Nights and I was showing the way the door is put together where it doesn't close. And here I'm at my favorite burrito place, actually second favorite, my favorite burrito place closed last year for tax fraud. They were paying employees off the books, but not off the books, and now 30% below minimum wage. So that's not exactly a cool thing to do in the city. Anyway, so this over here is one of these whole little vestibule setups, and what makes this sadder than the other place is the other place didn't have that vestibule when you walk in. It was just a normal setup. But this place, it looks like actually spent money to have it set up so that the whole concept is when somebody walks in, you don't feel the breeze from outside. However, even if I open this like so, even if I have this door open, Erica, push. Push, push. No, that's pull. Other direction. Push. You cannot close that door. It is impossible. So these little eugenisms, they're not just things that happen at small dump businesses in Manhattan. These happen even at places that have three or four or five locations where everything else is nice. So I just wanted to kind of share this little eugenism with you. It's, it's, they're legitimately everywhere and I just kind of find it funny how one of the most expensive cities in the world has all these things just halfway done unless you're a Hilton, a Sheraton, or, or a Chase Bank. That's it for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. See you.